It is 7.20 on day five of Contemporary Thon already. I am out on the balcony enjoying some extra time because we have all day meetings today and no students. Um, so those days can be kind of long, but hopefully it'll be okay because we're splitting things up. But anyways, I have gotten two hours into the last time I lied. Um, it's just kind of setting up the story. There's still two hours left. One thing I don't really like about the audio version is that it's split up like hours, like hour one, hour two, hour three, instead of chapters. And so like if you read some, like in the physical copy, you can't just quickly fast forward um, to the chapters. So that's just one weird thing. Um, it's just kind of setting up a story so far. Uh, the main character whose name uh, is Emma, there you go, is going back to Camp Nightingale after her three friends, or three acquaintances, I guess, disappeared 15 years before. They're restarting the camp, and the owner has asked her to come back, which is fishy, because she had spoken out against the owner's son. So, we'll see what happens here um, in the book. I don't know that I can finish today, because it is pretty lengthy compared to the other ones, but I would like to keep with my goal of a book a day, because I'm finally doing that for the first time in a readathon. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed, head out the door, and get the day started. It is now 4.30 and I just got home. It was a long morning of meetings, set through that. Went out to lunch with some library friends, which was a lot of fun. Then this afternoon I met with the specials team, which would be me, the PE music and art teacher together for a little bit. Then we kind of did our own things that we needed to get finished. I did get the bulletin board in the hallway updated with like what we're working on with design thinking for every grade level. Now for the evening, I don't really know what's going on yet. I thought I would have a whole bunch of time to read, maybe even get another book finished. But um, my guy texted me and asked if I wanted to go to my favor our favorite restaurant, not mine, ours. And of course, I can't turn that down. So if that's what we end up doing, because he's a last minute planner, We'll go do that. Um, so I do want to get dishes caught up on real quick though. So I'll play the audiobook, do the dishes, maybe even walk the dog. It is like 20 degrees cooler in the Midwest today, which is amazing, but it's actually like cold. So it finally feels like fall, which is so awesome. I don't, I don't think it'll stay that way, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna take care of those two things and we'll see what's next for the evening. doing <laughs> good morning it is now day six of contemporary thon so we are almost done um so obviously last night we went out to eat at cheddar's which wasn't our favorite restaurant it's our like our second favorite restaurant but it's like just behind my apartment complex so we did that and then we checked on spike um because he's going to help me drill holes in the top of it to put his chiller system in and then we came home and we fell asleep on the couch by 9.45. So it was an early night, but he, we had to get up at like 5.30 for him to like get to work. We also went and got donuts. I've kind of fiddle farted around. I've taken a shower. It is now nine o'clock. I'm gonna head down to the farmer's market here in town. Not the big one, not the big city one, but like our local little one to see if there's anything good to eat on for the week. I did also take a nap already this morning, I went back to bed, um, and I'll probably take another one. Just kind of, it's a lazy day, um, no makeup, no contacts, just kind of a reset for that. Probably do some like bubble bathing and just self-care stuff um, later today, but the goal is to also finish this one, if not start a new one as well, which this is a lot longer than I anticipated. So, and I'm not really that into it, but um, hopefully it gets better. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. There's some other stuff I definitely need to get done this weekend, catching up on some work stuff. I want to get my closet put back together. I am the worst at like doing laundry, folding laundry, and never putting it away. So I need to get caught up on that. I might also get like uh, fall Halloween decorations up in around the apartment. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So I'm headed off to the farmer's market to see what I can find. This 60 degree weather is everything. We're gonna spend the rest of the morning out here. Hey bud. Yeah, he's on patrol. There he is. I went to Starbucks because they finally opened up the store nearby after a remodel. 
I'm going to sit out here and read the physical copy because I'm just not into the audiobook right now. Can't focus. So here's the setup. That says long <laughs> rope for when we go to Lake Mead. That way. And yeah. I am probably going to go pick up some mums today to go in this. The dahlias are done for, but surprisingly these two are holding on. I think I might get the purpley fuchsia color because I love those. So we'll check in. I have to reread for a while. Is there something that you would like to do, sir? Hmm? Wanna go for a walk? Let's go! Where's your leash? We haven't quite figured that out yet. Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Alright, we're headed for a walk. It is 11.45 and I have a little bit of a reading update after our walk. I started listening to All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and somebody else. I'll put it up here. He's losing his mind, but whatever. Um, so I started listening to the audiobook and I have a few thoughts. The first thought was, holy cow, the opening passage is intense. Um, this is like a social justice, police brutality type story from what I knew from the beginning. Second thought is, I love the narrator. I actually like slowed down the speed to be like one instead of speeding it up to go faster because um, the narrator is awesome. I recognize the voice from something else and so I'm about to look up what that is because that one was also good. So I might have a new favorite narrator that I didn't know about. The third thing is the storyline is intense. So I think it might just be two points of view. We have, I think it's a young black boy. I think his name's Rashad. If you haven't caught on the fact that I'm horrible with character names, hi, welcome. My name's Audra and I have a problem. Um, but he is the kid that's getting accused of um, trying to steal something from like a convenience store. And um, the police confronts him and it goes way wrong. And it's from his point of view as he's getting beaten by this officer. So it is intense. At this point, I don't have any idea if he's gonna live or not, and he doesn't either, which is terrifying to hear that from a child. Um, and then the other point of view that's new, I haven't caught his name yet, but it is a child. He's kind of responsible for his seventh grade brother. So these are teenagers, obviously. S responsible for his seventh grade brother. Um, sounds like there's a working single mom because the dad was killed in Afghanistan. So that's gonna be intense too. So I'm already enjoying this as it sounds horrible to say that you're enjoying a book on such deep, like dark topics. Um, but I'm like 35 minutes in, I think it's about a six minute or six hour read. And so it's going to go quick. So I may actually get that one finished before I get this guy finished since I'm definitely switching over to just reading the physical copy. So, all right, I'll check back in later. <laughs> it is now 2.20 and I just woke up from a nap. So I'm feeling good. Um, I'm gonna go run some errands real quick. I'm gonna go to Sonic and get a drink because it's happy hour. Um, so I can come back and eat leftovers from last night, buffalo chicken wrap. But um, I'm also going to stop off at Hy-Vee to get mums, but then also some groceries for the rest of the weekend um, that I need, which reminds me I need to go to Sam's. Crud. I ran out of eggs and I always get broccoli there for uh, steamer bags, so I need to go there at some point, maybe not today. But I also am going to stop off at Ulta. Um, I ran out of, or I'm running out of eyebrow pencil, and uh, I might need, need to get an eyebrow tint. But I always go in there when I'm looking so rough. Like, never when a full face of makeup is on my face, but always when I look like a lazy bum. So maybe I'll get a makeover and try out some new foundation, who knows. So I'm going to obviously put on the audiobooks of um, All American Boys while I'm in my car, be bopping around town, and I'll check in later. It is 4.40 and I just got home from doing some errands. I got everything that I said I was going to, so I need to pl um, pot the mums outside here in a minute. I remember to get my farmer's market stuff out of the car, so I'll show you what all I got from there. And then I did go to Ulta. I got a new brow pencil, which was like a half, they have new half shades, which is awesome because the three and the four were too 
like one was too light, one was too dark for me, and so I'm excited to try this new one. I do have to go back tomorrow to do a brow tint because today is homecoming, so they didn't have room for me on the schedule. So I'll go tomorrow after the Chiefs game. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get like all the Halloween decorations out, pot the flowers, do all that kind of stuff. But here's what I got from the Farber's Market and what my like meal plans I guess are for the week. This spaghetti squash will be roasted and I make a like crock pot bu pulled buffalo chicken thing <laughs> and um, then mix it with feta and the spaghetti squash. Really good, pretty spicy. The tomatoes, um, my favorite go-to breakfast right now is a toasted potato bread with over easy eggs, the tomatoes, and then um, some feta cheese on top. I like feta everything. Um, I might also do some BLTs with this. Then these cucumbers, I either just eat them with ranch. I do like cucumbers, vinegar, and cream, like a creamy cucumber thing, or making a tomato cucumber salad, which I probably should have gotten more of these, but oh well. Zucchini and squash, we saute those and kind of eat them with anything and everything. And I got eggplant for the first time, so I might try to make some eggplant pizza things. So um, yeah, that's what we have going. I'm kind of sad the farmer market you know, is almost over for this year, but I have some go-to recipes, I guess, that we can't get enough of. <laughs> the moms planted um, they'll be a little different than normal moms because they have the yellow center um, I thought that would go nicely with these flowers the yellow vase back there got the yellow on the rug and this pillow that mess is from hanging up some solar lights they're lime green I don't know if I got them hooked up right but I guess we'll find out tomorrow since the Sun is going down show is going on back there. Garrett is actually coming over. Um, he left his laundry detergent here, uh, leftover food, something else. So he's going to come over even though he has to be at the stadium by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Whatever. I'm finishing off my chocolate milk from breakfast this morning and then what's left over from my snack earlier this week, salted caramel because I ate lunch, supper, whatever at like 4. And so, just ready for a snack. We're just gonna hang out tonight, and I'll probably check in tomorrow morning. Good boy. 